Hello and welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. And I am in Psalm 74 today. We read verse 1 last time, but I want to read it again. O God, why hast thou cast us off forever? Why doth thine anger smoke? against the sheep of thy pasture. And I mentioned it last time. There's only one reason that God gets angry. Sin. And the only reason he would cast anyone off forever is if they did not repent of their sin. Verse 2. Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed. This Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. He's asking God to remember how much he used to like them and what he went through to make them his people. In other words, he's asking God not to throw away everything that he has invested in the Israelites. Three, lift up thy feet unto the perpetual desolations even all that the enemy hath done wickedly in the sanctuary. So here he's asking God to walk through the city and see all the damage that the enemy has done. Now, it is true that that enemy came in against the Israelites as God's rod of correction. He brought them to punish the Israelites. And now, The prayer is, God, take a look at the destruction. Walk through. Walk through it and and take a look at it. Of course, God is in every moment of time at the same time. He is in every, he is everywhere at the same time. He was there in the city. He saw what the enemy did even long before they did it. Because again, God is everywhere at the same time, and he's in every moment of time at the same time. I know you can't wrap your mind around that. No one can, but it's true. Verse 4, thine enemies roar in the midst of thy congregations. They set up their banners for signs. The enemy erected their idols in God's holy place. I suppose to flaunt their victory over the Israelites and the God of Israel. Well, the writer wants God to see that as far as the enemy is concerned, their God beat Israel's God. He wants God to take the defeat of Israel personally, because that's what the enemies are saying. Our God beat your God, Israel. Five, a man was famous according to, as he had lifted up axes upon the thick trees. But now they break down the carved work thereof at once with axes and hammers. It had been an honor for a lumberjack to cut down a tree to be used for God's temple. But things had changed. The beautiful religious carvings which were in the wood of the temple, had been hacked to pieces, and it was considered an honor to destroy them now. Seven, they have cast fire into thy sanctuary. They have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of thy name to the ground. They said in their hearts, let us destroy them together. They have burned up all the synagogues of God in the land. When the enemy took over, they were determined to wipe out all traces of God. They demolished all the places where God was worshipped. If you want to control a population, then you have to control them spiritually because that is the core of what they think and what they do. Study the whole Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Pray for this ministry. Pray for the Word of God that I teach. Go to the front page and click the donate button at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. That's how you can be a part of this ministry. Until next time, so long, everyone.